Big Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Fat Man Scoop, Big Brando. Let's go. What's happening, everybody? Boy, Big Brando. And today, let's talk about not getting caught up in somebody else's hype. First off, let me apologize for the loud noise. I got the fan going, the AC's going. It's a hot day in LA today. But outside of that, I wanted to bring to you guys something that I see a lot of people fall victim of. And it's getting caught up in somebody else's hype. And what I mean by this, I myself am a content creator. I make YouTube videos and I post it online to teach people how to create t-shirts from home. This is a very standard thing. There's a lot of us out there. There's people with really big followings and there's people with a lot smaller following but we're all doing the same exact thing teaching people how to decorate on t-shirts from home now the reason I'm making this video is because there are a lot of new people that watch my channel I understand that I've been on YouTube for years now and I also understand the people that have been watching me from the beginning have grown their businesses and are no longer beginners some people been in business for five plus years some people been in business for two plus years but every single day there are new viewers to my channel and those new viewers are starting out fresh brand new haven't even purchased any equipment yet and what they're doing is they're jumping on youtube and doing their research like they should what's the best heat press to buy what's the best print method to go with what's the best blank t-shirts who's using transfers who's doing dtg who's screen printing what makes sense to me and this is what every single beginner should be doing if you wanted to get into this t-shirt business, do your homework, do your research. So that way you can make a better educated decision when you decide to purchase equipment or invest into whatever print method that you want to. Here's the part that messes a lot of people up. Outside of myself, you have people creating content around making custom one-off t-shirts. You have people that run full-fledged print shops and do majority of contract print work. You have people that run their own clothing lines and clothing brands. Then you have the folks that do it all. Now, as a beginner and as somebody new to the business, they don't understand all the different moving pieces to the businesses. They're looking for the bare minimum information, how to create the shirt, what's cost effective to create that shirt, and can they do it themselves? So once again, don't get caught up in somebody else's hype. If you have no aspirations to run your own clothing brand, watching somebody's videos that runs a clothing line or a clothing brand, how they price stuff, what makes sense to them, how they print their stuff, how they stock their stuff, might not benefit you. Because like I said, you are not creating a clothing brand. You have different goals. You have a different business in mind. Creating t-shirts, printing t-shirts, it does fall under the same umbrella, but there are differences to these businesses. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I see a lot of people that come to my comments and say, hey man, I was watching so-and-so's video and he does it this way and you're doing it this way. What's the right way to do things? What that person is showing you on their channel is what works for them. What I'm showing you on my channel is what works for me. What you have to understand is what I do for my business is a lot different than what that person does for their business. You'll hear me say this in a lot of my videos, and this is one of the best tips I could give anybody out there, whether you're a beginner or you're experienced and you've been in the game for a while. But take your t-shirt selling advice from somebody that actually sells t-shirts. The analogy that I always use is, would you take fitness advice from somebody that's overweight and doesn't work out whatsoever? Are you gonna take workout advice from that person? No, you're gonna take workout advice from somebody that has either a physique that you like or that you wanna emulate or something that you wanna work towards or somebody that has eating habits that you feel fit with your lifestyle, or somebody that's just saying a bunch of motivational stuff, but their physical appearance says otherwise. So for myself, if I was looking into getting into shape, I don't think I'm gonna be taking advice from somebody that's out of shape. I'm gonna be looking towards the person that's in shape to show me exactly what they did to get their body to look like that. That's the person that I'm gonna be listening to to change my body. 
See what I mean? So if you're looking into starting a clothing brand, there's a lot of things on my channel that you can benefit from. My marketing strategies, how I control my inventory, utilizing gang sheets to maximize my profits. Things like that will benefit you if you wanted to choose a heat press and transfers to run your clothing brand, because that's what I do. I run clothing brands and I make my money selling t-shirts at retail. But it is very confusing because you guys see me print for other people also because I also run a print shop and I operate the print shop using heat presses and transfers as well. Is that where majority of my money comes from? No. Do I get a good decent amount of money doing it? Yeah. And that's the reason why I do it. But majority of my money comes from selling my own designs pressed onto t-shirts sold to strangers. Now, if you were looking into just doing custom one-off shirts, I don't have a lot of information for you about that on my channel because I don't do that all the time. We can all show you how to create the t-shirt, but you have to figure out how you wanna structure your own business. So a lot of times you might step into this and say, all right, I wanna do custom one-off shirts for a bunch of people, but then you might be watching somebody that runs a print shop and they're printing up 500, 700 t-shirts and you might be trying to compare your pricing to that person's pricing. The way they price that 500 piece order is gonna be a lot different than the way you price a single one-off t-shirt order. See what I mean? But the person you're watching on YouTube that's doing those 500 piece runs, they might be entertaining and you might like learning from them. But you have to understand that your business is not structured the way that person's business is. So it's very easy to get caught up in what that person's doing and try to emulate that for your own personal business, but it's not structured the same. You get what I'm saying? So when you watch YouTube, and you watch somebody like myself or any of these other channels out here, pick and choose the parts you like from each person's business because we're showing you what we do for our business. You don't have to do everything exactly like me. You don't have to do everything exactly like the next person. What we're doing is providing the information for you to make a better decision on how you wanna structure your business. Remember, we can all learn on YouTube, but everybody's opinion on YouTube is very subjective. There's people out there and other channels out there that don't agree with the way I run my business. And that's fine because there's no one way to run this business. Everybody has to do what works best for them. So if you're a beginner or if you're thinking about getting into this and you're just weighing out your options right now, the best thing for you to do is consume as much content as possible. Soak up every piece of information that anybody has to offer not just me, anybody out there, and mold your business from the good parts that you like from everybody else. The beauty of YouTube is you have a front row seat to the inner workings of everybody's businesses out there. When you watch my channel, you'll learn how to press the shirts just like I do, sell your shirts just like I do, market your business just like I do, see the blank t-shirts that I use, see the transfer companies that I use, the vinyl that I use. All of this is laid out for you to watch and to consume and to learn from. Does that mean these are the only companies to use? This is the only transfer companies to use? This is the only vinyl cutter to use? No, it's not. This is just what I use. And I'm sharing it with you to open your eyes to different options out there. It is up to you to see if it's beneficial for you and your business. So if you take anything away from this video right here, it's watch the channels of the people that are doing exactly what you wanna do. Remember, you have to take your t-shirt selling advice from somebody that actually sells t-shirts. If that person doesn't actually sell t-shirts and they're just recycling information they heard, they are no help to you. Go directly to the source of the person that they got that information from. There's a lot of us out there. And like I said, big channels and small channels. There are a lot of people just like myself willing to help anybody else out there that wants to get into this business and make a little extra money. If you got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. This is the best place to ask your questions. I'm more likely to answer them there or make a video with the answer for you instead of emailing me or DMing me because I get a bunch of those and it's hard for me to filter through all that stuff. Another good way is to hit me up on Instagram, not in a DM, in the comments. All right, catch you guys on the next one, man. Yep. Yeah.